Welcome back to Ranking All Beatles Songs. We're really getting into the area now of songs that I just absolutely love. They're just top tier Beatles songs. All I gotta do and it won't be long. A lot of you might recognize those as being the first two songs on the With The Beatles album, their second Parlophone record. It's a really good one-two punch to start that album off. They just flow together really well. It just hits you really hard with, it won't be long, yeah. And then of course you kind of pull it back a little bit with All I've Gotta Do. And both of them have that feel where they're just pop songs, but, but they seem to have just a, a really nice urgency, emotional feel to them. Really nice early Beatles songs. You Never Give Me Your Money, beautiful song by Paul on the Abbey Road album. Starts off really nice and slow with the cool piano, then it kind of kicks into gear. The part about this song that I really love is how he spends two verses talking about how there's nowhere to go. Like, we don't have any money, there's no place to go, nothing fun happened, and nowhere to go. But then, but oh, that magic feeling, nowhere to go. Oh, but now it's peaceful, nowhere to go. So lovely. Which to me kind of goes along with the whole, uh, this was the last serious Beatles album they made. We're breaking up, nowhere to go, no more hustle and bustle of Beatles life. We can do our own thing now. Let It Be, obviously a very iconic Beatles song with the movie and everything. It's one of those songs that I just love to sit down and play at the piano, play and sing. Like when there's a piano there and there's people around and I'm gonna play a song for them. That's one of the ones that I always go to. I've Got a Feeling is one of those songs that has that nice relaxing vibe. It's not too slow, not too fast. You find that in different songs like you know, Wind Cries Mary by Jimi Hendrix, or Getting In Tune by The Who, or even a little bit notch above that, uh, It's Late by Queen. And it goes right along with the whole rooftop, let it be concert. I can just see Paul singing that song and John with the wind just blowing in their hair. It just, it, they just go hand in hand. Such a great song, just a really cool song with a nice riff at the beginning. The White Album is many things. It's many things to many people and it's got all kinds of just really cool art pieces. And these two songs here are two of John's just, to me, just really artistic pieces from that album. I'm so tired. It's kind of a simple song, but then at the same time, it's just really fun to sing. It feels like it's John kind of going back and forth about how, oh, I'm just kind of just doing whatever, just kind of being lazy. But you know, really, I just, I, I wish things were right between me and my girl. The part with the chorus, Paul comes in with the harmony, really strong. Uh, love that. Happiness is a warm gun. If anybody ever tells you that music is not art, this is the song to play. Happiness is a warm gun. It's just, it's one of those songs that goes through several different styles. And it's like, you, you just got to take it piece by piece. And it's just so cool the way John does everything. Uh, it's got the, the nonsense lyrics also that are trademarked by him. Kind of hard to explain, but you just have to hear it, but it's it's a wonderful song. Like the first two songs on this list, Anytime at All kind of has that similar vibe. It's just something about that song is you can really hear, you can really feel the emotion and the love coming out. And the piano really adds a really nice vibe. I, I assume that's George Martin playing the piano part in the middle. Uh, it's just a wonderful, beautiful uh, love song. Next tier, next tier. Uh, you got the regular Beatles pop love songs, and then you got something like this. It, it just, it just has, just, it has that feel that only the Beatles could do with, with just album cuts. You know, I mean, they could, they did so many songs that were worthy of being number one hits, and they were just album cuts. That's how good they were. Last two songs for this list, I have to put them together because to me they're just two peas in the same pod. Long Tall Sally, I'm Down, just super fast, hundred miles an hour, Little Richard inspired. Paul singing, Paul is belting it out, screaming fast, so much fun, 100% pure high energy, both of these songs. And uh, Long Tall Sally obviously is the Little Richard cover, just Paul just churning it out, obviously just, Tell like Barry about Uncle John, it's just so much fun to sing. And I'm down, I feel like Paul probably wrote this to be like Long Tall Sally part two, uh, just written by him instead. Also a great song. It, it feels a little bit more polished, maybe because it was about a year or two later after Long Tall Sally. And uh, it's got the really cool organ uh, by John. One of the pinnacles of, of, uh, of the Beatles uh, time is the Shea Stadium concert where they're doing I'm Down. Because they're all just having so much fun. They're on top of the world, biggest concert ever. John is playing the keyboard with his elbow. Uh, it's just so much fun to watch.